Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do if your iPhone won't turn off. So, your iPhone frozen screen won't turn off. The screen froze in the morning without doing anything. You try to press the power button to turn off the device to fix it. However, the power off slider on the screen doesn't respond. Worse still, you might not see the power off button and the screen seems completely frozen. If this is your case, keep watching and we'll show you how to fix an iPhone that won't turn off. First, let's quickly go through some scenarios that most users in the Apple discussions community might encounter when iPhone is frozen and won't turn off correctly. Your iPhone is not letting you shut it off to restart it. You can't open any apps, not even the settings app. It won't let you use buttons on the side to force a shutdown either. Your frozen iPhone screen won't turn off after update. You can receive a call but it won't let you answer, swipe or lock. Your iPhone won't let you click on anything or turn it off. Next, take a look at the common reasons why your iPhone is not turning off. System problem. The iOS software goes wrong, making your iPhone screen frozen and not shutting off. Broken power button. It's damaged so your iPhone seems to be frozen and won't turn off or reset. Dirty proximity sensor. If your iPhone screen is not turning off during call, the proximity sensor might be dirty and need to be cleaned. Broken touch screen. Yes, the screen could be at faulty if it's getting wet, dirty, or cracked. Because it cuts down the connection between you and the software, preventing you from shutting it down. Now, let me show you how to fix an iPhone that won't power off in the following to solve all kinds of potential issues. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step, making it easy to learn how to turn off your iPhone even when the screen isn't responding by yourself. Besides, if you have any questions about attempting these tricks to turn off your device, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. The first step is to turn off your iPhone in a standard way. I know it's obvious what you might have done when your iPhone won't shut off. But it's still worth a try before moving the steps below. If you're using an iPhone 10, 11, or later iPhone models, do this to power down your iPhone. Press and hold the volume up or down button and the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. If you see the screen unfreeze and shut down showing a black screen, it's time to turn it back on. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 8 or older iPhone models, do this to shut off your iPhone. Press and hold the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. If you see the screen unfreeze and shut down showing a black screen, it's time to turn it back on. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. The second step is to force turn off iPhone then turn it back on. Don't let it get you down if your iPhone is stuck and won't turn off using the standard way. There are still many ways to shut down the phone and power it back to normal status. One of them is to use buttons to force shut down your iPhone. So many users find it very helpful to turn off the frozen screen and unfreeze. After that, the device will turn back on by itself and check the phone. All the data is still there. Now, follow the steps below to give it a try. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If everything goes well, your iPhone should unfreeze and power on. Now, you can see the lock screen. It means that your iPhone is fixed. The third step is to use assistive touch to turn off iPhone then turn it back on. Maybe you find the iPhone not turning off with side button. The truth is that power button is not the only way to shut down your device. You can also trigger the software schema to let it power down. This step only works when the assistive touch feature is turned on your iPhone. That is the gray circle. Now, tap the gray circle, tap device, tap more, and tap restart. Confirm by tapping the restart option again. Now, you should see your iPhone is turning off, even though the screen is frozen. A few seconds later, 
You should see the Apple logo showing up. It means the device now is ready to turn back on. Just wait until the device to turn on. The fourth step is to drain the battery. This is also a very practical method. If you haven't tried it yet, let your iPhone battery drain. When the battery is running out of juice, your device will switch off, as well as unfreeze the stuck screen. At this point, the issues might get fixed. After that, plug your iPhone into a charger for at least an hour. Wait until your iPhone boots up on its own. The fifth step is to install the latest iOS software into iPhone. An out-of-date iOS software could be also the reason why your iPhone won't turn off. The fix is simple. Upgrade your iPhone using a computer. First of all, connect your iPhone to a computer with a USB cable. Open iTunes or Finder application. Now, to make your iPhone connect to iTunes or Finder safely and do the update smoothly, put it into recovery mode. Depending on your iPhone model, you'll need to follow different steps to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side, or top, button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the update option to download and install the latest available iOS version. iTunes will download the necessary software and install it on your iPhone. This process may take some time, so ensure that your computer remains connected to a stable internet connection. After the update is complete, your iPhone will quickly shut down. Just use your device as normal after it reboots. The sixth step is to restore iPhone to its original status. iPhone not responding to touch won't turn off even after hard reset and update? Try to delete everything on your iPhone and reset it. Connect your iPhone to a computer with a USB cable. Open iTunes or Finder application. Now, put the iPhone into recovery mode. For my iPhone 11, I'll need to press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Now, when you see this dialog box on your computer, choose the restore option to erase all data and settings on your iPhone and restore it to its factory settings. Wait for the restore process to complete. Maybe one hour, maybe three hours. After the update is complete, your iPhone will quickly shut down. Just quickly set up your iPhone to use it as normal after it reboots. The seventh step is to ask expert to check the hardware. If the issue remains now, get help from an Apple technician. Because it indicates a more serious problem with your iPhone causing it not to turn off. Maybe it's a hidden malware. Perhaps it's hardware damage like broken internal components. Whatever. Visit the Apple support website https colon slash slash support dot apple dot com slash on your computer or another device. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix iPhone frozen screen won't turn off. We sincerely hope that the troubleshooting steps we've shared have been effective in resolving your issue. Remember, if you ever encounter any issues with your iPhone or any other device, don't hesitate to seek help in Cora Radar. There are plenty of video resources available to you. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.